you. There's a, a wind blowing. It's a breath of fresh air. Um, right now for us in St. George South, I think people are ready to get back to the polls and elect a representative that they know, you know, really has a heart for service. And I believe that when I go to each and every house and I really speak to people about the, the type of politics I intend to practice, they understand. And they even tell me that they could look and they could see and, and hear it in my voice. Um, the sincerity when it comes to serving them as their next MP and we really feel as if we are ready to hit the ground running because you know everything is unofficial until today so it is official that the race is on and we are fit and ready to contest. And interacting with many of the residents in this constituency, what are some of the main issues or problems they want to address? The main issues is the lack of support that they have had throughout the pandemic financial support, welfare, mental health support. There has been a lack of support at the family level. Obviously, families have spent a lot of time indoors. And you know how it goes when too many people are in one space. Some people are, are, are getting the chance to know their partners all over again. And it brings a different dynamic to socialization that people have not really been prepared for. And as I sat back and watched and waited for government to at least begin to consider the challenges that Barbadians have had, all we have been bombarded with are messages of directives and what to do and what not to do, stay indoors and sanitize. But no one has come forward to ask persons how they are doing, how they are coping, or how they intend to go forward. And that's been the most troubling for me that I've seen thus far. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, what, what, what different means are you using to reach out to your constituents? The different, the different means that we have utilized. So this year, I believe that I undertook some efforts to do some telephone canvassing. This was when we had the spike um, in the summer. And there are people who actually said, do you know what? I've sat in my house all of these years and watched candidates and politicians pass down to the bottom of the gap and never sought to ask me a question. Somebody even said that they make a beeline for certain places because they believe that some people don't need representing. I had a call this morning from one of our communities that people will perceive as being, you know, middle, upper class. And the young lady said, I'm 25 years old and it seems as if the representative does not believe that we need representation. And she said we have the same struggles as working class youth. You know, they're not providing any opportunities for us and we want to know that if there are opportunities available that they will be available for all. And again, this dependency syndrome that this government has practiced or, you know, has enforced upon, upon our people, you know, People are struggling and you give them the bare minimum to get their support and then, you know, you believe you have a vote and we need to stop. This election, they call it a snap election, I call it an election of the time because people will go and vote for who they want and I believe that the influence that we have had over the last six months will give us the opportunity to serve the constituents of St. George South.